Places are addressing that. So, so we've, education. We've got to do a bunch of things to help with out, uh, upward mobility. Early child education is another aspect that we need to focus on. Again, I, I believe again and again that the children are what need to be focused on. If we start that now, we're going to be at a better place uh, years from now. And will you agree, right? Yes, indeed. I absolutely agree with uh, education. And I think um, self-sufficiency programs like Housing Authority has, uh, which are supportive services programs that we provide, and there is a graduation rate. It's almost double than the national average rate, which is at 46% right now. And these self-sufficiency programs actually lift people uh, to economic independence. And this is the graduation rate that we are talking about. So I think we must continue to invest in the resources, not just the housing, uh, just the provide the housing, but in addition to housing provider, also supportive services like after school tutoring program, right. job plus program to help folks find jobs, uh, counseling and substance abuse counseling. All this type of programs will actually help in getting more people show up at the polling places. So this is a key in terms of supportive services is a key to success. And Housing Authority, I would say it's sort of like a success. Uh, it has shown success tremendously, in, uh, tremendously than other national programs. So I think we should use that example and apply it uh, throughout the city. So the whole idea is to make people self-sufficient and, and exactly. get people the education that they need. And one of the things that you mentioned was getting people out to the polling places too, which is something that I know that you wanted to talk about. And we have to take another quick commercial <laughs> break. We'll be right back with more Flashpoints. <laughs>